lot of us are working jobs, careers that we don't even care about. Until you find your purpose, until you make your passion meet your purpose, you're going to be exactly doing just what you're doing. Upset, frustrated, aggravated, everything that comes along with it. But I'm telling you right now, God has created each one of us uniquely. There's a gift inside of us. And it's time for you to activate that gift with purpose and passion. I would have never made it if I didn't never find my purpose and I never made my passion meet my purpose. My mother and grandmother was my purpose. My passion, it comes from my environment because I wanted to get out of it. I wanted to make it better. Now, what's your reason? What's your why? What's your purpose? And are you going to ever have a passion to make it come true? A lot of y'all have great dreams. Dreams are really great to everybody when they're sleeping. But I need you to wake up and I need you to go to work. It's your time and it's your moment and it's your season. In due time, God will make it all right. But we must do our part. It's time to get to work. I know a lot of y'all are looking for results in your life, either good, great, or just okay. A lot of y'all may be in a funk in your life right now, and you're not even thinking a good result is possible. But I'm here to tell you that there's never been a person that I know that have worked hard and believed in themselves and believed in the process and their dream and that didn't end up with good results. I would never come over here and tell you that it would be easy. Some of y'all at the height of your journey and feeling good. You need to reach for new results right now. You need to reach for new destinations. And some of y'all are down in the valley. There's a dry moment in some of y'all life right now. I'm here to tell you no matter what you're going through, you can live again and get the results you're looking for. Press forward, press down, and don't give up. Your results are right around the corner. Keep working. Continue to do what's right, y'all. Continue to be blessed. Continue to help someone else. Expect to win. And I believe this. It works if you work it. Especially in this generation, they chase their dream selfishly. They don't chase it for a reason, for a person, or for a why. My why was my mother and my grandmother. So my dream chasing, it wasn't for me. I, my dream, I had a shallow dream. My dream was to own Mercedes Benz and wear polo shirts. My ultimate dream was to get my mother and grandmother, don't let them die in the, in the projects. Don't let them die living in the government itself down housing. And I did that. So what made me different is when I looked at the guys, all I did different was make better choices. I wasn't different. I just made better choices. And that's one of the things that young people and people today, even my age, still seem to take for granted. Going hard is supposed to be part of your DNA as a football player. You're going to get yelled at by a coach. Who in this room think the coach don't love that? Nobody can raise their hand. We ain't trying to kill you, we're trying to make y'all better young men. We try to make y'all you become a better young man and become a better team. Nobody's best of time for y'all be failures. You understand? Yes, sir. I don't need a hundred football players. Because somebody, if I got a hundred of y'all, I'm gonna miss you because they're not giving us the resources to help a hundred of y'all. But you got the first of all, you got to learn how to trust. Y'all don't trust nobody. You can't keep being angry because it's hot. We play football in the summer. My boy told me from Miami yesterday, they don't never stop playing football in Miami. But they kids, they know that's their way out. I'm gonna tell them, keep telling y'all, some of y'all ticket is one way. You don't have a two-way ticket. This is your ticket. You got to punch your ticket. But every day you got to punch a hole on trying to get to where the ticket gonna take you. And if you don't, that ticket got expired now. You got four years of high school. Four years. You got your whole life. You understand? Yes, sir.